Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today Appa is going to make a deep fried uh, pork ribs. Uh, I have probably about 300 grams of baby back ribs here. Okay, and uh, from this is a black pork from Berkshire's. Uh, and then we just need to marinate it and deep fry. That's all. Very easy. Okay, so um, I'm going. To, this will be the main thing for marination. This is uh, one piece of uh, red fermented bean curd. You can also use the white color one or the spicy one. Really up to you. But this is the red one, which will give you some extra reddish color to this dish, make it very more appetizing. Okay, so one piece of this, uh, and then we have some oyster sauce. Sauching wine, salt, sugar, and pepper, and a bit of egg. So we can first make the marination. So this is the bean curd. Uh, it's easier to dilute the bean curd with uh, sauching wine. Of course, if you don't take sauching wine, then well, you can just use water. And. Let me dilute this first. See, you can see it becomes pinkish. Some people told Abba she doesn't know how to make, how to use uh, this bean curd, so she throw it, she throw it away. She throw the whole bottle away. <laughs> you can actually make it to marinate your meat and deep fry, yeah. Okay, so you have something like this, then we can add in some, a bit of salt. This is already very salty, so you don't need to put too much salt. And sugar, maybe about uh, one tablespoon of, or maybe half tablespoon of sugar. A little bit of oyster sauce few dashes of white pepper and mix it all up make sure your salt and also sugar is uh, nicely melted inside Okay, then we will bring in the pork ribs. I just rinse under water for pork ribs, yeah? And then put in this, the marinades. Let me adjust the angle a bit for you. Right, so mix it up. Oh, I can feel this is this is going to be very tasty later. <laughs> um, you notice I did not put light soya sauce because I don't want my spirit to become too dark later. That's why I avoid light soya sauce. If you want, you can put it just a little bit. So I use salt to replace. Uh, soya sauce. Okay. Then I have some egg here. Beat it up. You don't have to put in the whole thing, probably half of it first. But my egg is not very big today and some uh, cornstarch two to three teaspoon and mix them together right 
So what you do next is also equally important, which is uh, to cover it with a uh, cling wrap and put it in the fridge to let it marinate for about one to two hours. And after the one to two hours, you want to take it out at least uh, 30 minutes before you want to deep fry to let it go back to room temperature. Then only you deep fry, okay? So put it inside the fridge for one to two hours and take it out. Okay, so this is after marinade in the fridge. I just took it out, all right? Uh, for, this is already marinated for about one to two hours inside the fridge. So you prepare some either, uh, today I'm using potato starch. You can use tapioca starch or also corn starch also can. Um, prepare and then an empty plate at the side. What you want to do here is take out the piece of um, marinated ribs and give it a few rolls here. Cover, coat this, coat it with uh, a thin layer of starch powder and put it aside, let it rest for a couple of minutes. This resting process is actually very important. Few reasons, uh, the, the powder can actually stick much better in the oil later and later your oil will not be uh, too dirty and too messy because of this process. It's called resting, let it rest. Okay, I'm going to finish with the rest. Right, so prepare some oil. I'm going to use uh, medium heated oil to uh, slowly deep fry. I don't want to use too high heat. Uh, main reason is because um, the uh, because of the red bean curd, um, your you don't want uh, you don't want your your um, pork ribs to get burned so easily. Yeah, it can get dark very easily because of the red bean curd. Okay, so we want to use medium heated oil. Uh, Somewhere around 140 degrees should be okay. When you put the chopstick inside, you start seeing some little bubbles, some bubblings, and then there's no smoke. Yeah, the moment you start seeing some smoke, it's too hot. Reduce, uh, you can add in some oil to cool it down a bit. Okay, now put in this. I think I have approximately 300 grams of uh, spare ribs today. Baby back ribs. You will, you will notice the pork ribs actually is very pinkish because I let it rest, remember just now? Okay, I'm, I'm using uh, medium heated oil right now and I am currently tuning to uh, uh, and increase the heat a little bit to medium, medium to medium high. Uh, the whole frying process will probably take us Definitely less than 10 minutes. I will flip it over after a while. We'll come back shortly. This is after about one minute plus. I'll try to flip it over. Uh, I can feel the crust is forming up. Nice. Crust is forming up nicely. I think everything should be cooked plus minus five to seven minutes. Okay, so we'll give it this side another a, a minute or two, then I'll flip it over and things like that. Yeah? So slowly deep fry using um, medium to medium high heat. Somebody asked Appa yesterday. Appa, when you say medium heat, what is medium heat? Well Generally, the um, the hottest point of the oil, uh, yeah, the hottest point of the oil is such, uh, high heat is considered about two hundred and eighty degree. Okay, so hundred uh, when we say medium heated oil, we are referring to about one hundred and forty to one hundred and fifty degree. At this point, the oil is hot, but you don't see any smokes. The moment you start seeing smoke, that is already considered high heat, which is one hundred and eighty degree and above. Okay, so um, 
that's what I mean by median uh, heated oil, which is about 140 degrees. Alright, this is under another a minute or two. I'm going to flip it over again. Mm. Beautiful. Almost done actually. <laughs> How do you know whether your porridge is cooked? Well, few, there's few things that you can take note. Uh, you start, when you start seeing the bubble become lesser and lesser, that is actually a sign telling you it's almost ready. Yeah? And it becomes uh, lighter and lighter as you push. Again, we will come back shortly. Alright, this is after approximately 7 minutes. I think she is ready and I can feel it is actually very crunchy outside you can do double fry if you want to but today I'm not going to do double fry so I'm just going to take it out get a get ready a oil absorbing paper at the side eh? and put it on top of the oil absorbing paper many people have this perception that thinking that the moment when you use a lot of oil the dish it come out, it's going to be very oily. That is a wrong perception. If you know how to deep fry, it will not be oil. Uh, it will not be oily at all. One of the more important things is actually uh, the moment when you take out, when you take out the uh, ingredient from the oil, it must be at the higher heat so that it won't absorb. The moment you lower down the heat right now, it will start absorbing the oil. Look how beautiful it is golden color of course as you take out from the oil put it the meat onto an oil absorbing paper okay uh, small little things like this is going to help to keep your deep frying process perfect okay so i'm going to eat it with some uh, uh, garlic chili so very simple but very flavorful i hope you like my very simple video today if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come cooking up our facebook fan page to click like and follow button Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up on YouTube channel and TikTok. Thank you very much. Bye bye. If you have, if you want me to do any dishes for me, uh, for you, just uh, leave it in the comment section. Bye bye.